Welcome back to the Beach Bum Bookworm. I am Tiffany. I'm so glad to see y'all again today that you found me. My channel is all about cozy mysteries and romance, and today I'm continuing my Spotlighting Cozy series. We've been looking at all things drink related, and sadly enough, I think we might be finishing it today. There were, seemed like we were going along in a steady pace, A's and B's, C's and D's, and then all of a sudden, like, E through Z was a very short number of books. But I have also found some indie books that I want to talk about that are that are all things drink related. Let me know which of these that you're interested in. If you have any more that I didn't mention, please, please, please feel free to put that in the comment. I would love to know and add more books to my TBR at this point. What the heck? It's only another book. <laughs> Anything else you want to talk about down there is place to do it. On your way down to comment, don't forget to stop, hit the subscription and the notification bell because that's going to know, tell you. <laughs> so that's how you're going to know when I put out new videos each and every single week. All right, let's get to it. Spotlight and Cozy's All Things Strength Related in three, two, one, go. So the first series is the Bookstore Cafe Mystery Series by Alex Erickson. The first book is called Death by Coffee. It's right here. When Chrissy Hancock and her best friend Vicki decide to open a bookstore in their new hometown of Pine Hills, Ohio, they decide to call it Death by Coffee after Chrissy's father's most famous mystery novel. Little do they know how well the name fits. On their first day of business, Brendan Lawyer huffily takes his coffee to the grave it seems he had a severe allergy to peanuts, but how could there have been nuts in his coffee? And who stole his emergency allergy medication? Fortunately, Chrissy's love of puzzles and mysteries leads her not only to Officer Paul Dalton, but also to many of her new neighbors who aren't upset. The book is closed on Brendan. But one of them is a killer, and Chrissy needs to read between the lies if she wants to save her new store and live to see how it ends. Nine books in that series. That sounds really, really cute. I've heard several good things about that series, and it's been on my TBR for a while now. The next series is the Chintz in China Mystery Series. It's by Yasmin Gallernorn. The first book is called Ghost of a Chance. It's right here. Emerald O'Brien is the owner of the Chintz in China Tea Room, where guests are served the perfect blend of tea and tarot reading. She never set out to be a detective, but, one, but once word gets out that she can communicate with the dead, there's no turning back. When the ghost of Susan Mitchell, Mitchell asks for Emerald's help in convicting her own murderer, Emerald can't refuse. Along with her friends, an ex-supermodel, and a cop, and her new love interest, Emerald must search for the clues to put the killer behind bars and this tortured soul to rest. Five books in that series. There's a lot going on there. It sounds really fun. The next series is called the Read em and Eat Mystery Series. Cute. That's cute. This is by Terry Farley Moran. The first book is called Well Read Then Dead. It is right here. It says the main character is Sassy and Bridgie. They are the owners of the Read em and Eat Cafe Bookstore. And this is in Fort Myers Beach, Florida. Nestled in the barrier islands of Florida Gulf Coast, Fort Myers Beach is home to Mary Sassy Cabot and Bridgie Mayfield, owners of the bookstore cafe, Read em and Eat. But when they're not dishing about books or serving up scones, Sassy and Bridgie are keeping tabs on hard-boiled murder. Read em and Eat is known for its delicious breakfast and lunch treats, along with a quite a colorful clientele. If it's not for Wawina Gustafson, Loudly debating the merits of the current book selection, it's Miss Augusta Maddox lecturing tourists on rumors of sunken treasures among the islands. It's no wonder Sassy's favorite is Delia Batson, a regular at the Emily Dickinson table. Augusta's cousin and best friend Delia is painfully shy, which makes the news of her murder all the more shocking. No one is more distraught than Augusta, and Sassy wants to help any way she can. But Augusta doesn't have time for sympathy. She wants Delia's killer found, and she's not taking no for an answer. Now, Sassy is on the case. Three books in that series. It sounds absolutely fabulous, right up my alley. I think I'm going to love this series. If you've read this series, let me know if you enjoyed it, because seriously, it sounds like something I will love.
All right, guys, so moving forward, I'm not going to read the synopsis. I'm just going to give you all the other information. I've been trying this format for a while now. I feel like it's working better. Let me know what you think. So let's just keep going. The next one is the Coffee Lover Mystery Series. This is by Tara Lush. The first book is called Grounds for Murder. It is right here, and there are two books in that series. The next one is the Coffee Coven's Cozy Caper Series. That's a mouthful. By M.Z. Andrews. The first book is called That Old Witch. It's right here. There are four books in that series. The next series is called the Vroom and Cars and Coffee Mystery Series. This is by Gaston Adams. The first book is called Gas on the Brakes. It is right here. There is only one book out in this series, and it looks like it was just released a few days ago on the 15th of June. So it sounds like it would be a lot of fun, and I think it's a really different premise than what you get in a lot of cozies. So I think that's exciting. The next one is the Black Cat Cafe Cozy Mystery Series. Everybody's names are tongue twisters. The Black Cat Cafe Cozy... Co nah. The Black Cat Cafe Cozy Mystery Series by Lindsay Cole. The first book is called Blue Buried... Ah, muffins buried is spelled like you bury somebody in the ground <laughs> that's clever <laughs> 13 books in that series that is a really clever title i am digging it very 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 clever the next one is the Blue Bell Cafe Cozy Mystery Series by Judith Jackson. The first book is called A Friend in Need, like you're kneading dough. There are five books in that series. The next series is the Coffee and Ghost Series by Charity Thomaseb. The first book is called Must Love Ghosts. It is right here, and there are three books in this series. The next one is the Coastal Ca Coffee club mystery series one more time coastal coffee club mystery series by patricia brown the first book is called dying to win it is right here and there is only one book as of right now in that series the next one looks so cute i had to include it it says it's coffee break short story cozies the book is called gnome for christmas it is right here in that adorable it, I think there's several different authors and they each have a little short story is the what it looked like, but I can't tell you that for sure. It is adorable looking. I can't wait to check it out. Next one also sounds very cute. It is called the Drunken Pie Cafe Cozy Mystery Series by Diana Dumont. The first book is called Peach Cobbler Poison. It is right here. And there are six books in this series and I am all about checking them out. The next one, I cannot remember if I already included it in one of the spotlights. I'm sorry if I did, but it, I couldn't remember, so I had to include it. It is the Tea and Tarot Cozy Mystery Series by Kirsten Weiss. The first book is called Steeped in Murder. It is right here, and there are four books in this series. I know I just said it, but if any of them get repeated because it just might happen. So if they do, I'm very, very sorry. If I realize it's a repeat, I will definitely take it out if it's been in one of the other videos as one of the ending books. But I had to include all the ones I found that didn't seem familiar because they're just so cute. So there you go. There's your apology. Let's move on, shall we? <laughs> this next one is the Haunted Tea Room Cozy Mystery Series. It's by Karen Sue Walker. And the first book is called Tea is for Trouble. It is right here. And there are two books in this series. A Haunted Tea Room sounds adorable maybe not adorable maybe haunted and adorable is not words that should go together the idea sounds adorable let's go with that <laughs> next one is the lemon tea cozy mystery series by lucy may the first book is called which you wouldn't believe which is spelled like a witch it is right here adorable i love these titles are so clever next one is the wine and dine mystery series by Gemma holiday book one is called a sip before dying it is right here and there are seven books in that series i am so looking forward to checking out there's actually a few different series by Gemma holiday that i have on my tbr that i need to get to 
The next one is a series I really enjoy. It is the Daisy's Tea Garden Mystery Series by Karen Rose Smith. The first book is called Murder with Lemon Tea Cakes. It is right here. And currently there are seven books in this series. I e emailed, I interviewed Karen Rose Smith and she was delightful. Her books are delightful. I couldn't recommend them enough. The next one is the Sweet Tea Witch Mystery Series by Amy Boyles. The first book is called Southern Magic. It is right here. And there are 21 books in this series. And I can't wait. Again, this is another one that went on my TBR. I think some of these just look, the covers are amazing. The titles, I am just loving this, this spotlight. The next series is Teas and Temptations. It's by Cindy Stark. Book one is called Once Wicked. It is right here. And there are 10 books in this series. This next one I'm really intrigued by, and it just sounds really whimsical. And I'm just, yeah, I'm just really interested in checking it out. It is the Wisteria Tea Garden Mystery Series. It's by Patrice Greenwood. And the first book is called A Fatal Twist of Lemon. It is right here. There are seven books in that series. The next one, I have talked about this series before. It is definitely on my TBR. It sounds like it would be something I would love. It's such a unique premise. I'm really digging it. It is the Magic and Mixology Mystery Series by Gina Lamana. The first book is called Hex on the Beach. <laughs> right here. And there are eight books in this series. And all of them have the coolest covers. I love it. The next one is the Tea and a Read Mystery Series by Joy Evan. The first book is called In Peppermint Peril. It is right here. And this is our December book club pick. So don't read ahead and don't read it now. Like on your own. Wait for it for book club. It's so much fun. You'll enjoy it. I promise. I don't want to make promises. And then somebody say, I didn't. But read it with us. <laughs> Three books in that series. The cover on that one is adorable too. I love holiday cozies and the covers of holiday, the covers in general of any cozies are some of my favorite of anything, but the holidays are just the best. The next one is the Colorado Wine Mystery Series. This is by Kate Lansing and book one is called Killer Chardonnay. It is right here. There are three books in that series. The next one is the Wine Country Mystery Series by Ellen Crosby. Book one is called The Merlot Murders. It is right here. And there are currently 11 books in that series. That's another one that's been on my TBR for a while. Next one is Witches and Wine Mystery Series. This is by Morgana Best. The first book is called Witches Brew. It is right here. And there are currently eight books in this series. So many of these have gone on my TBR. The next one is The Wine Lovers Mystery Series by Michelle Scott. Book one is called Murder Uncorked. It is right here. There are seven books in that series. The next one is a Read Wine Bookstore Cozy Mystery Series. Reading Wine Bookstore Men. Mm -hmm. Book one is called Friends and Foes. It is right here. This is by L.C. Turner, and there are six books in the series. Next one is the Wine Trail Mystery Series by J.C. Eaton. The first book is called A Riesling to Die For. It is right here. Seven books in that series. I absolutely love J.C. Eaton. She writes the Sophie Kimball series, too, and I love that author's writing style, so I'm really interested in checking this one out. The next series is called A Food and Wine Club Mystery Series by Kat Chandler. The first book is called A Special Blend of Murder. It is right here. And there are five books in that series. The next series is called Adventures in Wine Country. It's by Diana Stone. And the first book is called Mystery in Pink. It is right here. And there are 11 books currently in that series. The next one I'm super excited about because of the location. It sounds amazing. It is the Tuscan Vineyard Cozy Mystery Series. This is by Fiona Grace. The first book is called Aged for Murder. It is right here, and there are seven books in this series. I've never heard about it because if I had, I'd be all over it. If you've read it, let me know if I should bump it up as much as I want to in my DVR. The next one is the last one. And I have read the first one in this series. I absolutely loved it. It is the Literary Pub Mystery Series by Sarah Fox. The first book is called Wine and Punishment. It's right here. Three books in that series. Can't read to wait. Can't wait to read number two. I really enjoyed it. And I love 
her Pancake House series. I really think Sarah Fox is an amazing cozy mystery writer. So that is our cozy mystery spotlighting all things drink related. I'll be back with a new spotlight next week. If you want to tell me what kind of spotlight you're interested in seeing, I have an idea already formed in my head, but I'm always taking suggestions and I have so many up in here. So if there's not something that you're, you're really anxious to see, I have, I have an idea of what I'm going to be doing next. Until next time, may all your future reads be five stars. Bye everyone.